Okay guys, let's quickly see how we can install Podman under WSL2 and then use it inside of VS Code as a replacement of Docker. And so here I've installed uh, Podman with uh, sudo apt install Podman and the version is uh, 4.93. Then in VS Code from extensions I have installed the Docker extension. One more thing that we need to do is with F1 to go to settings JSON. So this first option preferences open user settings. What we need to add is under Docker environment to have the Podman socket uh, file uh, specified under Docker host and under Docker pad to use just Podman. So this configuration here in turn will use Podman inside of our WSL. Also it's advisable to enable the Podman uh, system service as well as uh, to enable the usage of uh, the socket of Podman. So with those two commands inside of WSL prompt, you can do this. Now back to VS Code, once uh, having those configuration set up, uh, you can uh, restart uh, VS Code and um, then you can uh, click on the Docker extension where you can see all the available containers as well as images. The extension is uh, fully usable. For example, we can start a specific container and then uh, we can also attach shell to it. So as you can see very fast, we can enter inside of the container and see its contents. All right, guys, I hope uh, this uh, whole setup will speed up your uh, future developments. Thank you. And if you like the content, you can subscribe to the channel.